so it's time to show you guys more of my beauty trash hi guys and welcome to the third edition of my empties video it's basically where i show you guys all of my makeup skincare and personal care products that i've completely finished up and then i give you guys like mini reviews of everything so many of these products i have reviewed in some form but sometimes like my opinions can change as i continue using the product when i've completely finished up something i think that's when i'm best qualified to give you guys like a proper review of whether i'd like something or not and i have four sections skin care hair care body care and makeup my hair is really frizz prone it's thick it does get dry like it's naturally dry and then when i do color it or heat style it which i do a lot of both then it does get more dry and more damaged so i'm always looking for like nice conditioning products so I'm going to start with this hair mask by Schwarzkopf which is the BC Bonacure Repair Rescue Mask a deep nourishing and conditioning mask for damaged hair I really enjoyed using this mask it is not the most hydrating mask I've ever used but it did make a difference for my hair it did make my hair feel more soft more manageable it did everything that it said when your hair is like already damaged or when the ends are split you can't repair it you have to cut it off but you can use hydrating restorative products like this just to make your hair look better and feel better and this did a really good job i already have another one of these masks so i don't have to repurchase it but i would recommend this if you have dry damaged kind of hair and then i have two products from kerastas they are from the same range this is the kerastas reflection range for colored hair i have the shampoo and also the hair mask this is also called the chroma captive range and it's supposed to protect and intensify color and it doesn't have any sulfates now i used the shampoo when i had just gotten my hair color red like right now it's been some time so i think i still really like my hair color but the vibrancy is gone a little bit in the beginning it was much brighter i think this did a good job of making my hair color last like a little bit longer red is a kind of color that washes away really easily but when i applied this i used to not see like just as much color washing off and it stayed well for longer so i really like the shampoo and i would recommend it let's get to the mask this is supposed to be the shine intensifying mask because i like the shampoo i started using the shampoo first i thought i would enjoy the mask and i can't blame it because it doesn't say that it's a hydrating mask or softening mask or repairing mask it just says that it intensifies the shine but i felt like this didn't do nearly enough for my hair it hardly made a difference like when i applied this mask uh, while washing my hair my hair used to feel a little bit softer to touch but it really didn't hydrate my hair much and i really need a mask to give me some hydration and softness this didn't do anything and my hair was so super frizzy each time i used this and it it just looked like worse i was so disappointed because kerastas is premium it is one of the more expensive hair care brands i think it's just a mismatch of the product and my hair i should probably look at kerastas's hydrating range because the shampoo i liked the mask i did not you can always mix and match so you can use the shampoo and you can use some other mask there's no issue like that now let's move on to skincare so i have two cleansing products this is really famous saint ives apricot scrub this is supposed to be a scrub that prevents blemishes and minimizes pores i first bought this scrub from usa like i actually ordered it and then asked my aunt to bring it down for me because i'd heard so much about it but then in the meantime saint ives also launched in india <laughs> so i bought one from india and i'm happy to say i compared the two and the quality is the same whether you get the us one or the indian one so that's a pro when i first used this i really liked it it made my skin like so much softer to touch but i really suffered a few days later because it broke my skin out and i understand why this is supposed to be a deep exfoliator so 
the exfoliating granules in it they're not gentle yeah, i know they they tell you to use it on your face i would say it's good for your body you can use it on your knees i use it on my upper arms but i would not recommend using this on your face if you have sensitive skin because it might feel good when you use it once but it, this type of scrub really damages your skin it causes something called micro tears the granules are sharp and they actually hurt your skin at a level you can't see that obviously is going to be like a vicious cycle it's going to damage your skin more it's going to cause more breakouts and if you want to exfoliate your skin go in for a chemical exfoliant rather than something like this which is a physical exfoliant i know the word chemical can sound scary but believe me a good chemical exfoliant is going to be much gentler on your skin and it will remove dead skin cells and all that in a much softer smoother way and it will not leave your skin like all damaged and angry this works well on my upper arms on my elbows knees on rough areas it's a good body exfoliant but would not recommend it for the face a sample size technically of avens famous clean and gel and i've actually used up the big bottle of this clearance gel also previously this is a really nice face wash for sensitive acne prone skin it toes the line nicely between like really making your face feel clean cleaning out your pores while still not stripping it still not being harsh or damaging this stuff lasts forever like this small bottle also lasted a long time and if you have the big bottle it lasts so long just cuz you know a very little bit gets the job done efficiently this is a really good face wash that if you have sensitive acne prone skin you should definitely consider i won't be repurchasing it right now because i have other face washes but this is really good stuff now all that i have in front of me for skincare is toners so first let's talk about kiehl's calendula toner it's alcohol free got calendula flowers in it it is great for normal to oily type skin sensitive skin never broke me out never felt harsh but also cleaned my skin really well toner is one of my staple products i'll never not use it i used to think like sometimes that only face wash was enough but it's really not enough if you have sensitive acne prone skin this is a step that you cannot skip and this toner worked very well for me i didn't even expect to like it that much like i just thought like hmm it will be good but it was really good after trying this out when i was like halfway through the bottle i knew i wanted to buy another one so i've already purchased another one of this i put it in one of my recent skin care hauls so if you guys watch that you'll have seen that i repurchased this and i also bought the foaming face wash I haven't tried the face wash previously but I figured that if the toner is good the face wash also should be good. Only complaint I have about this it's definitely expensive. It doesn't last a very long time. Next uh, from Clinique I have the three step skin care. This is the clarifying lotion. You can go to a Clinique store, they'll check your skin type and they'll recommend the one two three steps like based on your skin this is step 3 for combination oily skin they'll have step 3 for normal skin for dry skin so this was the one that was recommended for my skin i have to say that this kind of disappointed me i know they call it lotion but it basically where the step is it's pretty much a toner i felt like this product was way too harsh it does have some nice ingredients in it like it does have witch hazel and all which is good for a toner but it also has alcohol in it and you really don't need to put alcohol in a skincare product at least not this much i don't think alcohol is the first ingredient on this list but when you open the bottle that's all you can smell the alcohol is so strong they have said here that it's allergy tested fragrance free dermatologist developed but i don't know why there's so much of alcohol in this so i can't really recommend it i finished it off i don't think it did damage for my skin but alcohol is harsh and drying and i would not use it again This is a really nice bottle though. I am not going to throw out this bottle. I'll probably rinse it out nicely and reuse it for like any product when I'm traveling or something. The next thing I have is from Chronocare. It's the Flower Power Toner. This is supposed to be for all face type. It has a unique blend of three flowers that instantly refreshes the skin and softens 
the tissues <laughs> and this is sulfate mineral oil paraben and silicon and fragrance free so that's nice this didn't have a lot of bad stuff in it it's just distilled water there's lavender oil there's citrus oil and something else so the ingredients in it were fairly good i quite like this toner the oils that they put in though do have a really strong fragrance so in case you're very sensitive to fragrances and i'm not talking about artificial fragrances like not a perfume but these oils only have strong smells so i felt like that was something that you either love or you hate i didn't mind it but uh, i just thought i should let you guys know about it other than that this was a good toner this was a travel size so i used to mostly keep this in my like traveling skincare pouch and only when it sort of reached the bottom then i finished it off at home i don't have anything bad to say and i think it did a good job as a toner on the whole i've liked most chronocare products that i've tried i don't know why like we don't see more of chronocare it's a nice brand i feel like more people should try chronocare next from kama ayurveda i have the pure steam distilled rose water this is a multi purpose product because it's just rose water it doesn't have anything else like included in it at all and that's something that's really nice i have multiple of these i have the small one i have the big one this is a good like purse sized one again you can use this while you're traveling or just in your like everyday bag and you can use this as a toner you can use it to refresh your skin and i really like this it's one of the best quality rose waters that you can get in india i know you can get rose water for fairly cheap also but you really can't uh, say on the quality of those cheaper ones and i would say that if you have sensitive skin like one ingredient products like this are really good for you and i've also used this on my cats i like that i can just freely use this and not have to worry that like what's in it and when i was younger i used to hate the fragrance of commercially available rose water but this smells so nice i think that um, when rose fragrances are used in more premium products more luxury products the fragrance is just better and you guys have got to let me know if you feel the same way but this is really one of my favorite products and i would recommend it I'm not repurchasing it because i've got more of this at home already i don't think i'll ever not have this next we're going to go into the makeup section i have finished a few makeup items i'm quite satisfied uh, with this but i need to use up more of my older makeup also or i'm just going to have to throw it out i actually have three mascaras in here the first one is a mini size of benefits roller lash mascara i think i got this from us sephora and i had a few of these mini sizes these are really handy to keep in your purse or whatever as the name suggests it was supposed to be all about curling your lashes on its own like without using a lash curler it was a nice brush that separated the lashes well and gave it like some lift but i just felt like it didn't do that much for me it's a super curling and lifting mascara but the mascaras that work best for me are the ones that give extra volume that's going to be different for you based on how your lashes are some people need volume some people need length some people need curling so it wasn't bad but it didn't wow me very few mascaras wow me like i try so many and few of them work well so this was okay Another product that I've got from USA this is the CoverGirl Plumper Fly Blast Pro mascara. This mascara should have worked well for me because it is a plumping mascara. It is a volumizing one. So I should have liked this, but it did not really do much for me. A nice brush. Good job of separation, but the formula of the mascara wasn't that great. It didn't really plump my lashes. It didn't really volumize or thicken them. and i kept waiting for this to do something but it really did nothing like covergirl is a drugstore brand in us it's not available in india yet so it wasn't expensive but it let me down it did not live up to the product name one bit and then i had been burnt by so many mascaras that i was not even that excited to try out a new one but i tried out this one it's the debra milano mascara and i didn't expect for this mascara to be great but this was just when you think that all of them are the same 
none of them are going to do anything for you you get a nice one the brush of this doesn't look anything spectacular it looks just good enough but this mascara did a lot for my lashes i'm not wearing any mascara today but whenever i do this really makes my lashes look gorgeous and it makes them look really thick and it's supposed to be volume and curves so i'm assuming curves are like curls it does give me a lot of volume and i really really like this and when i was coming to the end of this one i already repurchased it here's my newer one which is currently in my makeup pouch this is the one that i'm throwing out that answers the question of whether or not i'll repurchase it i already have the next thing i have is ardell's famous duo lash glue i'm sad to say i'm throwing this out or because it's expired i didn't finish it it's actually quite a lot of product in here but i'm not going to use it because it's a little old this is eyelash adhesive so if you wear falsies like false eyelashes you need to use this glue this is the clear one and ardell is one of the better brands so that's why i had purchased this one and i was really happy with it it worked quite well for me so i took like a one and a half to two year break from wearing falsies i haven't worn them in a long time now i realized like i want to try false lashes again but i need to purchase glue and in the meantime this glue has become really expensive in india so that made me sad like i don't want to spend like 800000 rupees on just eyelash glue so i'm wondering whether to like repurchase this which i liked but which has become expensive or buy something cheaper let's see what i finally decide i haven't made a decision yet if you guys use false lashes what is your favorite glue please let me know the next thing i have is a silicone primer it's this one from sephora and this is just called the smoothing primer it smooths and mattifies i don't use primer most seasons because it's an added step to my routine i'll only use it in few cases i'll use it if i think that uh, i'm going to be roaming around like for a long day and i want my makeup to look good then i'll use this or i'll use it when the weather is hot and humid because it helps my makeup stay on longer in times like that so oh, this was one of the first things that i tried when sephora launched in india and this looks like a really small bottle but this lasted a really long time because one and a half pump or so of this has a nice pump packaging it basically covers your entire face and i was quite happy with this it took a long time for it to finish i feel like there's still a little bit of product inside it's not coming out the pump the thrifty person in me kind of wants to open this and how do i get to this product Uh, I feel like it's going to be too much of a pain but I really enjoyed using this primer and this is another product that I don't have to repurchase because I already have a new one at home when I really like something I get panicky that it will get discontinued or whatever so when I'm half way through a product that I like I already have the second one standby I have another eye makeup product from Debra Milano this is the ultra liner eyeliner felt tip eyeliner and it dried to a matte finish and this product disappointed me a lot it was really annoying to use it was matte so sometimes it would just start flaking off really fast and now my everyday eyeliner which i'm wearing right now by maybelline it is glossy i don't really care about glossy versus matte i could use either i just wanted to like last a decent amount of time and just i think because this was matte the texture of it was not nice from the beginning it would not apply well and it would not last long also so i just used this a handful of times actually the felt tip applicator is not bad i think i prefer a brush but the applicator i have no complaints with it's just a product formula that i did not like one bit next product that i have is base makeup from lancome This is the Taint Eyedin Foundation Stick. I think you guys can see how well loved it has been by the absolute step that I've made of it. This container looked a lot better, but it's been in my makeup bag for a year and a lot of the packaging has actually worn down. This is a foundation stick with broad spectrum SPF 21 protection and a soft matte finish. 
I love this product so much and it breaks my heart to tell you guys this because Lancome is no longer in India. It used to be but they left India. And I kind of hope they come back because we're getting a lot of brands that had left India come back like Makeup Forever used to be in India then they left now they're back. I hope these people come back as well. This is such a nice product. It is so creamy to use. It gave me a skin-like finish but it also gave me a lot of coverage because I like my Fenty Beauty foundation stick also and the Fenty Beauty stick matches my complexion a little bit better but it doesn't give me this much coverage. With this I can just skip concealer. I get a decent amount of coverage from it like a good heavy medium. I won't say full. Medium to full. Yeah, let's say that. Very skin-like. It blends so easily. And this was just a dream product to use. I've come completely like at the bottom. But I can still use the product a little. I just can't swipe it on my face as I used to. I need to use it with my finger. So it's still got a little bit of wear in it before I junk it. But it's more or less finished. It's just me being thrifty and me finding it hard to let go. Since I color matched this product to my face online, I didn't get an exact shade match. I'm actually wearing it today also, but I got one that's close enough. So I've already repurchased this from Sephora USA and I've sent it to my dearest aunt's house. Whenever she comes down to India, she's going to bring the parcel with her and I'll get another one of this. If you guys are like, traveling anywhere and you see a Lancome counter, I would highly recommend looking for this foundation stick because it's really one of the better products that I've tried. Final skincare product I have is the L'Oreal Gentle Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I have used up multiple bottles of this makeup remover over the years. It's biphasic so it had that layer of oily product and it had that layer of water and you had to just give it a good shake to combine the two and then use it. It worked really well. It did not sting my eyes and it did a good job of removing waterproof makeup quickly. So I enjoyed using this. I'm not going to repurchase this because now we have micellar waters in India like the Garnier micellar waters are so good. So I feel like we don't need to go back to these older products because micellar water is superior. It removes makeup well, it's good for your skin. This is not bad, but micellar is better. Now we are moving to the last section, which are the body care products. This bottle of acetone. This is just a random bottle of acetone that I purchased. It's a 400 ml bottle. It costed 125 rupees, so pretty cheap. And most of the time I use acetone only to remove my nail polish just because it just does a quicker job compared to other nail polish removers. Like I know it can be harsh on the nails. Every nail polish remover is going to be harsh on the nails at some level and with acetone you can just get the whole work done quicker. Acetone is also better at removing polishes that have glitter in them. I just go through a good few bottles of acetone because since the last year I've been taking care of my nails more painting my nails more and that means more removing also and I just always feel like acetone does a really good job in that way. Wheat instant waxing kit. This had eight wax strips. I just finished this off and if you guys watch my favorites video you will have already seen me mention these strips and I've been using these exclusively for my underarms. I still shave my hands and legs. I still shave my face. But I like using these for my armpits because when you wax, you're kind of hair free for a little longer time. Like when you shave, uh, you have to shave more often. So I've just really enjoyed using these strips because they give you the convenience of waxing at home and they're easy to use. They're less messy than bringing out like your hot wax warmer and your separate strips and applying and removing. So they do the job quickly. So if like me, like you don't have a beauty parlor very close to your house or you don't like actually going to a beauty parlor and waxing, this is so great to do at home. You can either do it yourself or just take anybody's help who doesn't mind helping you because I can really become a chicken when it comes to pulling out the strip. Like I flinch. So if someone does it for me, I prefer. I really enjoyed using these wax strips and I have a big supply more at home. I've bought extra just in case I ever run out, like I don't want to run out. I have 
the forest essentials mashobra honey and vanilla bath oil this also like the entire bottle looks like such a mess right now which is another testament to how much i love this i mostly use this in the wintry times when it's colder and i started using this when i was on a trip in goa and then every time i used this it sort of reminded me of goa and i love that I enjoyed the fragrance of this so much and it's really good at keeping your arms and legs and body moisturized better in the winter season. Oil just seals the moisture in. So it sometimes works better than creams because if I put cream, I have to reapply cream 2 3 times, but oil makes me feel moisturized and hydrated for longer. The fragrance of this is so good. and the whole bathroom fills up with that fragrance and kind of feels like a spa uh, honey and vanilla both are kind of sweet and they just smell so good they take you to another place after using up this entire bottle i feel like i've really sort of become addicted to bath oil i know it's a complete indulgence and i know that this product isn't the cheapest also but it does last a long time it does make me feel very good now i've already repurchased but i didn't buy mashobra honey and vanilla because i said let me try uh, one of their other fragrances and i've purchased i think the green tea and oud one i just wanted to try something different and something fresh but less sweet smelling and i haven't properly started using that yet but it's cooler now so i am going to start and if you guys if you haven't tried uh, using a bath and shower oil i would really recommend giving it a try in your bathing routine after you've like put soap or shower gel and you washed yourself you just need to apply this on your hands and legs it's the best and the final product that i have and i don't always put samples in empties but i just put these here because i wanted to talk about them bath oils only but they are from aroma therapy associates which is a british brand one is the revive evening bath and shower oil and one is the support equilibrium 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 what's wrong with me why can't i pronounce this <laughs> bath and shower oil so i don't even know where i got these oils cannot for the life of me recall exactly where i use these and oh my god these are the best bath oils i've used in my life like the forest essential ones is also really really good this is not bad but when i used this one it was even better they are available in india so i checked that out but they're really quite expensive more of a luxury product so i didn't buy these only because i didn't want to spend that amount of money on bath oil but i just put these in here in this empties video because i still wanted to give them a shout out so if you're looking to indulge yourself or if you're looking to give someone in your family or your friend circle a really nice luxurious gift i would recommend checking out aroma therapy associates because this is the real deal I might buy like a proper bottle for myself sometime when I feel like I really want to treat myself for my birthday or something. Right now I'm not biting the bullet. I'm trying to be sensible. But I really liked using that. And with that, this is the end of my third empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We went through a lot of products. and i am going to make this a regular feature whenever i finish off a new product i now throw it in a box or a bag so that i can sit and talk to you guys about my empties now that i finished this video it's also very satisfying because i can throw out all of the trash that's going to be a good feeling if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more beauty fashion travel and lifestyle videos and i'll see you guys next time bye